Well, as World Cancer Day is marked, a region in Kenya is struggling with an upsurge in the number of cases. Homesteads across Mera County in Kenya's eastern region have reported a significant number of cancer cases over the years. This has sparked a fact-finding mission by the Kenya Medical Research Institute. CGTN's Wilkinson Yawa has the details. The sound of metal scooping the earth eclipsed all other sounds. In a few hours, a man would be buried here. The deceased succumbed to cancer and would be laid to rest on his farm in the hills of Meru County. Barely a kilometer away, another family mourned the death of a loved one. Mary, David Kirimi's wife, succumbed to breast cancer last November. The disease crept up on her silently at first, and then more viciously as it progressed, until it claimed the life of the mother of three. <laughs> It is a very painful disease and very costly as well. It costs more than school fees. The family suffers because when you do not have the money, you have to borrow from everyone, even from outsiders. It is very difficult. And hardly two kilometers from that grieving homestead, Alith Kenya mustered the strength to do the day's washing. She waited for breast cancer treatment for over a year. I found a lump on my chest, but thought it had been caused by the cold. Then I went to hospital and got tested for cancer, but they said they couldn't operate as it would get worse. So I came home. Well wishes are now helping her to access treatment, but the disease has progressed greatly. It is a story that echoes across these hills, a story of numerous homes in this region visited by this scourge that is cancer. Nearly all the, the families in Middle County have been affected in one way or another by the cancer issue. They either know a member has been a victim of the family or a friend of the family. For years, there have been reports of high incidence of cancer in Meru. Between 2015 and 2016, Meru recorded 1,633 new cases of cancer. Riaki and Kiegoi villages were reported as the most affected areas and the diagnosis left many families reeling. Kenya's fundraiser, for example, yielded just $200, making it difficult for her to seek treatment at the country's largest referral hospital in Nairobi. The county responded to the unfolding situation by establishing an oncology unit at the Meru Public Hospital. It came as a relief. Doctors in this facility found that it was overwhelming to always have these patients who have cancer and a lot of times they just refer them to Nairobi uh, for chemotherapy. And uh, so we started in a smaller room uh, within the facility. That room has grown into a unit that receives 40 new cancer patients every week and serves 60 daily. But medics still haven't figured out why they are seeing these cases. In a bid to shed more light, the Kenya Medical Research Institute officials and other scientists visited the area to collect data about cancer. This is actually um, it, it is something that something happening in that area, either genetic, environment, or some pollution that's happening in that area. They, they even thought that there was um, some meteorite that fell there. <laughs> that's what they claimed, and uh, there was water coming from underground, which is true, it's coming water coming coming from underground. But whether it has got uh, radioactive or not, we have to confirm that. Locals have also raised concerns about the use of pesticides on the cut plant, which is grown and widely consumed in the area. But all these theories are yet to be proven. Let's run to a bigger study to really confirm the, the real populations who have cancer and uh, how they're distributed, uh, their behavior, what they eat, what they do, all those things there will be a, a much larger study when we look for more funds to do it in the near future. Meru County has organized a mountain run to help raise funds to establish a cancer institute to tackle cancer. The Cancer Screening and Oncology Units here at Meru Level 5 Hospital are a lifeline for cancer patients given that early diagnosis and treatment is vital in the management of cancer. However, medics here still hope to one day set up a larger cancer institute that would give them insights as to why some cases of cancer are prevalent in regions around this area. But for residents, the most important concern remains identifying the causes of cancer. And for that, they may have to wait a little longer. 
Wilkinson Nyabwa, CGTN, Meru, Kenya.